I'm being asked to enlarge this triangle here by scale factor minus 2 with centre of enlargement 1, 1. I'm going to show you a way of doing this using vectors which will work for every question. The most important thing is the centre of enlargement. That's 1, 1 and I'm going to mark that very clearly on the diagram. Remember, this is the most important point now. Now what I need to do is choose a corner of my triangle. I'm going to pick this one here and I need to write a column vector to get from the centre of enlargement to that corner. So I can see that I don't go across at all, I just go up 1. So the column vector is 0, 1. Remember the top number means left and right, the bottom number means up and down. Now I want to multiply this by the scale factor which is minus 2. So I've got minus 2 times this column vector. Minus 2 times 0 is 0 and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. So now I go back to the centre of enlargement and I use this vector. So it's naught, that means across none, and minus 2 means down 2. So I go down 2 and I put my new corner. So this is where this corner will be on the enlarged shape. Now I'm going to do the next corner, so I'm going to do this one here. Remember, back to the very important centre of enlargement and write a column vector. So it's left 1, up 1. So the column vector is minus 1, 1. This is left 1, this is up 1. I've got to multiply that by the scale factor. So minus 2 times minus 1 is 2, and minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Now back to the centre enlargement, and I use this column vector. So that's right 2, down 2. So right 2, down 2. Now that I've got two corners, I can join them together. And now I need to do the third corner, that's this one here. So again I need to write a column vector to get to it from the centre of enlargement. So it's left 1, up 3. So that's minus 1, 3. And I multiply this by the scale factor. So I've got minus 2 times minus 1, that's 2. And minus 2 times 3, that's minus 6. Back to the centre of enlargement and use this. So that's right 2 down 6. So right 2 down 6 is here. And this is my third corner. I can join it to the corner that I've just drawn and join to the final corner to complete the triangle. This is my finished enlargement. Now the lovely thing about this kind of question is that there's a really nice way of checking your answer. If you join each corner on the small triangle to the corresponding corner on the large triangle, all the lines should cross through the centre of enlargement. It looks like this. And you can see that my green lines all cross through the centre of enlargement, so I can see that this is in the correct position. I also need to check the size of it. I'm enlarging by a scale factor of minus 2. The 2 part of this means that all the lengths will double. So if I look here, I've got a length of one square, and on my new shape, it's two squares, so that has doubled. Here I've got a length of two squares, and on my new shape, that's four squares, so that has doubled. The last side will automatically double if we get the other two correct. Notice the effect that the negative scale factor has. It means that the triangle is upside down in the enlarged image. Here's one for you to try now. You'll need to copy the triangle and the axes onto some squared paper. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. This is what your answer should look like. Here's another question for you to try. Again, you'll need to copy this onto some squared paper. Be really careful that you join the points up as you go along. Press pause and have a go. When you're ready, press play. This is what your answer should look like.